The importance of the radio regulation is that it is the uh, international treaty that enables radio communications to exist without harmful interference. What it means in practice is that the radio regulations are the reasons, the reason why you can receive radio and television broadcasting, that you can receive satellite television, you can have your mobile phone or your smartphone operating at all times, you can receive Wi-Fi, you can use Bluetooth equipment, you can have satellite images from the Earth, you can have uh, space missions, and all this are enabled by the radio regulations. The reason why we need this is that it is a regulatory treaty that is signed by all nations in the world and is applied by them as a basis for their legal um, framework for their national legislation. So what the radio regulations do is to enable throughout the world the legal basis for the use of spectrum for radio communications to happen. The reason that we need consensus is that at the end, when a decision is taken by a conference, so at the end of the conference, all the countries represented at the conference, which are more than 150, sign the final acts. And in signing these final acts, that they are able to go to their national parliament and have their national legislation passed, which is in conformity with what the radio regulations are now saying at the end of the conference. And so this is the mechanism which enables the radio regulations to be applied universally by all countries and, and therefore the reason why harmful interference will not occur is because everybody will respect uh, the regulation which has been adopted by the conference in modifying the radio regulations. These conferences happen every four years so it is uh, pra in practice a permanent process by which the World Radio Conferences of the ITU are modifying this international treaty in order to adjust to evolution of technologies but at the same time to protect the investments which are made in uh, the use of spectrum by radio communication system. These investments represent uh, a multi-trillion dollar um, investment throughout the world, so this is something which cannot take, be taken lightly. In the future, with increased development of mass market applications like um, global positioning, like for GPS, like television broadcasting, like mobile uh, broadband and uh, wireless communications, the development of, of these markets require uniform legislation throughout the world and this is what the regulation enable. So in the future we'll need more and more to rely on harmonization of spectrum and, and this is what the radio regulations are able to deliver. They have been able to deliver that for 110 years and it's quite uh, interesting to see that today with the uh, essential importance that radio communications have been taking um, in, in the world for the development of our societies, uh, it is quite interesting to see 
that uh, th to see the relevance of the radio regulation in in this evolution. Um, I believe that um, what the radio regulations enable and is is to achieve by consensus a balance between the evolution of technologies, which is which has the potential to disrupt everything, but at the same time, the ability to protect the investments which are made in these technologies so that these investments are not uh, threatened in, in any way by the evolution. This is the balance that uh, World Radio Conferences of the ITU have been able to strike in the last 110 years to make possible for television, for radio broadcasting, in, in the, from, from the 20s and, and the 40s to happen and uh, have been uh, the instrument of the development of mobile and broadband mobile and the instrument of the development of satellite communications, earth exploration, meteorology. It is significant um, because uh, it's quite remarkable that uh, after 110 years of existence, the radio regulations are still very much relevant in enabling uh, new technologies to happen and by uh, at the same time protect the investments. And uh, I think it's important to pay tribute to those who have contributed in the last three or four generations to make this happen for our societies.